Hello everyone, Global Jet Pilot. My name is Alex. And uh, today, finally on my day off between the flying, and uh, I decided to give it a try and test the uh, setup for a 160 meter band. For that, we will be using the uh, antenna base that I uh, previously uh, built and shown in the previous video. Uh, it's based on the aluminum tripod and the MC750 uh, base antenna. Uh, today, I will be adding a uh, loading coil that I got from my buddy from Australia. And uh, it won't work alone, so I have to use the uh, GPC-7 uh, 40-meter uh, band loading coil. First, I haven't done the test on it yet, so we'll see... Uh, if it's possible to tune it, we'll see what SWR we can get out of it and the uh, performance of the antenna in general. So that's gonna be our setup. And uh, once we install on the base, ground around the radials, we'll uh, use the bottom of it, the loading coil, to uh, tune it up and test it with uh, Rig Expert A50 to uh, see what we can get out of it. I uh, ran the uh, 16 radials. I grounded as well with the spike. And uh, as you can see, I've got the uh, 40 meter loading coil with the tuner and the 160 meter coil that will work uh, in combination together with a 17 foot uh, whip antenna. All right, here is the setup. So we'll uh, connect to the rig expert and try to uh, tune the antenna. Test the 160 meter channel with the uh, current setup. Now this communication is uh, pretty much good during the winter time when the thunderstorm activity is at its uh, lowest because it does create uh, quite a bit of a static and uh, if you want to use during daytime, like we do today, it's close to a noon time. It's uh, only good for the, uh, uh, let's say, to a ground wave and uh, a single E hoop, which is normally represent roughly about 1500 kilometers uh, off the range that you can uh, get out of it. So let's uh, turn it up and see uh, what uh, what performance we can squeeze out of it, and then we'll connect to. Uh, FT uh, 891 portable radio and uh, we'll use auto tuner to uh... all right now we'll uh, go to 160 meter uh, band so it gives us uh, 1.9 go to 1.8 so now it shows 5.5 uh, with return loss of 3.17 decibel so let's uh, tune up the antenna. A little bit down. And it already went down to uh, 3.6. There is uh, 2.3, uh, 1.88, and 1.46, and and uh, right about here, it will show 1.2. So we're getting pretty close. All right, so uh, just by uh, tuning the uh, 40 meter uh, coil, I was able to uh, get it down to 1.02. So that's like the uh, perfect SW or match. So here we go. With all the setup that I did, I was able to match the impedance to 1.02. So that's uh, pretty much ideal, as you can see here on the uh, 
40 meter uh, tuning coil. That's the position. And then we have the uh, 160 meter coil with a fully extended 17 foot uh, whip antenna from MC750. Go. Let's go fast, come. Um.